Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. Today we're gonna create a custom alert dialog. In the previous video, we have created a simple alert dialog. So in this video, we'll be creating custom alert dialog. We'll ask the user to enter pin, and if he enters the correct pin, we'll show him balance. Else, we'll just uh, display the toast. Please enter the correct pin, just like this. Three, four, submit. Please enter correct pin, and if I enter two two two, balance is showing. Okay, so let's get started. We'll be creating a custom alert dialog. So first, uh, we'll create one layout file for alert dialog. So for that, we'll click on layout, new, layout resource file. We'll name it as uh, user check. And we'll be changing layout to the relative layout. I'll play, press Alt Control L. It will rearrange the code for me. I'll change relative layout height as 150 dp. We'll add one text view here. Text as uh, enter your pin. We'll set its size to 24 SP and we'll give it ID text view. We'll also give it text style as a bold. And we'll provide one edit text. Layout below text view. And we'll also add margin here. 20 dp. Mm. Let's say 8 dB. Okay, now it's cool. So we have our previous design uh, over here. So we'll be adding custom alert dialog uh, in front of account balance. When we click on show, we'll display one alert, custom alert dialog that will ask the user to enter pin and will show the balance. Okay, and we'll also check if the balance is correct or not. So for that, we'll add on click listener to this show text. Okay, so we have its reference object as account bal. So just we'll add a set on click listener to the account bal. Set on click listener inside that new on click listener. So now we will create one object of alert dialog dot builder. New alert dialog and we'll pass a context as main activity dot this and uh, so now we have to uh, show this layout as a alert dialog so for that we have to store this layout in view so let's see how to do it just write your view layout inflator dot from context main activity dot this inflate uh, in inflate we have to pass the resource file of our layout so r dot layout dot user check and another is root so we'll pass it as a null because we don't have any root okay and now we have to set this view to our builder set view stream okay this is it so now we'll pass a positive button and negative button and also message to this builder alert dialog builder object so for that we'll write set message please fill the information okay and we will set positive button to a builder 
object. Uh, so in positive button, we have to pass one string. We'll pass submit and another parameter. So what will happen if we click on submit? So just write here new dialog interface on click. Okay. So inside this, we will uh, write a code to display the balance. So before that, we'll just add one negative button. Sorry, set a negative button. Just pass your cancel and nothing will happen. Okay, null. We'll also display our alert dialog. builder dot create alert dialog dot show okay so now let's handle what will happen if we click on set positive positive button okay so we have to extract uh, this edit text pin so for that we'll just write here edit text edit text view dot find view by id r dot id dot edit text okay so why we write view uh, our view is uh, object of this view in which we have stored our layout uh, file of user check okay so we'll be accessing this edit text by using view reference object okay now we'll store the edit text pin uh, in one string let's say string pin edit text dot get text dot to string dot trim and we'll check if this pin equals of two 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 if this equals then we'll show the balance so what is the text account ball account ball that set text 10,000 else we'll display the toast as please enter correct pin okay let's uh, run our app everything is fine so let's see Okay, it is asking me for pin. Let's write first one, two, three, four. Come submit. Please enter correct pin. It is showing us toast. And now let's enter two, two, two. Submit. It is showing us the balance. So this is it for now. In the next video, we'll see how to use spinner in Android Studio. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching.